Thank you so much for coming to The Messenger. Once again, I'm The Messenger and I'm just here to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation on whatever you are facing today. So today God put on my heart the other day to talk about it is not wise to compare yourselves with others. You know, when God warns us and tells us things, you know, he knows why he tells us things. And we should take heed to warning. God always warns us and let us know what is not wise to do. And, and and sometimes he does not go into full detail, if you notice. 1 Corinthians 10 and 12 says, They who compare are not wise, King James Version. And I'm, I'm not saying it to a T, but look it up. And, you know, he don't go into full details. He don't tell you what'll happen. You know, he, he really don't because he feels that we will take heed to warning because the Bible also talks about warning before destruction. So, you know, really God feels like when he tells us something that we are to be obedient and just trust his judgment. How many of you know that? Hit that like button. So sometimes he does not go into full detail to why you shouldn't do things. But just let's for a minute think about our own situations our own experiences our own life experiences where people have compared with us you know you have a friend that every time you go around they're pinpointing something about you and you know they're letting you know yeah i see you got this type of car oh yeah i had that when i was in my teens and you're saying to yourself, okay, are you saying that as a compliment? Or are you saying that to compare or make me feel like I'm late or I'm behind or yeah, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. You know, it gets irritating. How many of you know that when you're around people like that, it's, it's really not good. Because they want to make sure you know that they are outdoing you and you're really not even trying to compete you're just trying to live life you're just trying to make it you're just trying to pay bills you just wanted a car but how many of you know you can look at your car and think it's nothing and everybody else is looking at it like it's a ferrari looking at it like it's a tesla and you're you're just buying a car because you need a car. And so you're finding out that people are comparing themselves their, themselves to you and they're making it known. It's not wise. Why does God say it's not wise to compare? It brings envy. It brings jealousy. It brings torment. It brings murder. Why do you think a lot of friends nowadays are killing friends? Because they're constantly comparing themselves. When, you know, there are people that like to brag, but then there's people that's really just trying to live. Example is me. You know, I dress nice, but I'm not dressing to compete with other people. I'm not dressing nice to outdo anyone. I'm not dressing nice to compare with anyone. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just putting on clothes what I have. But how many of you know that I've had people cross my path that have told me you need to stop shopping? Oh my God, you know, uh, you dress so nice. They make me feel uncomfortable because I have nice clothes. And, and, and mind you, I don't buy name brand clothes. 
I don't. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. But you got people that make you feel bad. They want to throw uh, remarks out there talking about name brand and people come in here thinking you're better and you like, who are they talking about? They're not wise. These people are not wise. If you got to go around and make others feel some type of way because you're feeling some type of way, you're not wise. You know, I don't know how many times uh, people, I have seen people cross each other's path and I'm sitting here listening to their conversation and you know, this person was homeless at one point. They finally got on their feet. They go to church and you got people that look, look at them like they think they're better and don't have a clue how humble they are. You never even got to know the person, but you're judgmental. And it turns into envy. It turns into jealousy. I don't know how many times I've seen people around me squinching their faces up, making sure they don't include me in anything, making sure they spread lies about me so no one else will accept me, all because of their envy, because of their jealousy, because they're comparing themselves to me when I'm just being me. I've always been me. And, you know, especially when people don't know that you don't even think highly of yourself. And they come around and they think so high of you and you're going, wow, well, you know, uh, I'm not that type of person. Uh, I don't think I'm better than anyone. I help the homeless. I, 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 I bless people every time they cross my path. I, I'm always going all out to do people. But because they saw me for the first time. They assume I'm stuck up. They assume I think I'm better. They assume because I'm well-dressed uh, 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 that uh, she thinks she's all of that. When they don't know that somebody gave me that outfit. They don't know I found this outfit at a yard sale. They don't know I shopped at a thrift shop and found this. And it, it, it blows my mind all the time. When these are the same people that's supposed to be in the spirit. These are the same people that's supposed to, that has a position in the church. These are the same people that are, and you know, I expect people of the world to do this. But when you go amongst your own brother and sister in Christ, that they say they are in the spirit, they, they love God, they're serving God, and yet they make you feel unincluded. They're comparing you. They're saying remarks out about you. And, and they listen to your every word just to make you feel like you're nobody. And don't understand that you have low self-esteem. You already feel like you're nobody. But here you come from sitting around me for 10 minutes throw remarks and say things that don't make sense because they're comparing, they're competing. And what happens is the envious grows, jealousy grows, hate grows, uh, sabotage grows, plotting, scheme, and planning grows turning others against that person grows not knowing there's something wrong with their heart you know i can honestly say that in my life i had a lot of rejection i've been rejected because i'm a beautiful woman i've been rejected because i dress nice i've been rejected because you know, I'm built nice. You know, I've been rejected because I have my own hair, my own nails. 
you know, because I have a car, you know, even when I was married, I, I was I was rejected because of that. I couldn't when I when I was single, I was rejected from the married people. When I was married, I was re rejected from the single people. So much rejection. So much uh, comparing and competing. When in my mind, on the job, I, I was just excited to have a job. I'm just working and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I get leaders on the job try to get me fired because they're so intimidated. They compare. And all I'm thinking about is getting my check to pay my bills, okay? I could be living in the dark. And I would get people to compare, compete, and 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 there's the, the envy and the jealousy rising them now i didn't lost my job i can't feed my family now because of the comparing the envy the jealousy now i've lost plenty of jobs behind this when all i'm doing is coming to work doing my job trying to do a good job so i can keep my lights on that i can keep food on the table that I can keep tissue and, 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 and the things that we need in the home. But because people on the job compared, and when I got praised for doing an amazing job, it rose up envy all around me. And it caused people to lie on you. It caused people to do things so you can get rolled up. It, it caused comparing caused me to lose so much to where I when I lost my job then I lost my home then I lost my car because of comparing this is why God said it's not wise it, it amazes me that people do it anyway and don't catch the fact that God never told us what will happen behind it. We're going to experience it. So we're experiencing envy, jealousy, and murder. I don't know how many people have been murdered behind people comparing, competing, and sabotaging, and retaliating, and plotting. And the, only, the person is not even thinking about any of that. They're just thinking about how to make it. They could have been just came out of a homeless situation. That could have just came out of abusive marriage. And they're, they're finally getting on their feet. They're just excited to be in the house of God. They're finally able. They, they may have just got a car and able to finally get to church. And excited to be in church. But because the pastor praised them and spoke their name through the microphone. How many people have rose to jealousy and envy and retaliating and and then you go and look for dirt on them so you could go back and tell the leader oh they're not who they say they are meanwhile we're living in filth we're living in sin and they're looking for for the wrong in you so they can go back and ruin your name and don't understand that person is so excited to be alive they could have been in abusive marriage to where they were uh, almost near death left for dead shot up stabbed up and they're so excited to be in the house of the lord and because god spoke a word through the prophet to tell that person envy jealousy retaliation bitterness plot and scheme and retaliation rise up this is why god says it's not wise to compare and we never gave the person the time of day you never got to know the person what happened to when someone tell you their life experience uh we're excited just like they are and you're asking them how did you do that? You said you were homeless? How did you get back on your feet? You said you were in abusive marriage? How? But whoever 
I've yet to meet anybody to ask me, how did you do that? How did you become the woman of God you came to be? How did you get that car? How did you meet your husband? You, you, you got to find out about this person. But we don't do that. Today, for the first time in my life, my sister Donna asked me, How are you so humble? How do you handle that? How do you control it? For the first time in my life, I have had a woman to ask me that. And it blew my mind. I was excited to let her know this is what I did. This is what I had to say. This is how I had to do it. My mother raised me this way and I stuck with it. It worked for me. And I've been like this all my life. This is how I did. I was excited because I've never had a woman ask me, how did you get like that? That was so powerful to me because she see what I've been through, and I hadn't told her everything, but she's seen it, and she wanted to know. That's wisdom. But how many of us have rolled their eyes and, and conjured up lies on the person to make her look bad on the job, at church, in her business, spread lies on their businesses to ruin their lives, all because... You compare yourself to her instead of learning from her. I promise God that, Lord, I'm going to teach women how to not be jealous. Because I, to this day, cannot understand how women are so jealous of each other. If she's beautiful and you are beautiful, what's the problem? And I asked God one day, I said, Lord, I don't understand why am I not like other women? They catty, they're jealous, they're envious, they can't compliment, they can't talk to each other, they walk by each other with their nose up. If she looks good and beautiful and well put together, you know, they will not compliment or say anything. Why are women like that? Why am I not like that? That I don't do that, I don't compare. I give compliments, I'll tell a woman in a minute, She's beautiful. Oh, I love your shoes. Oh, I love your outfit. Oh my God, I love everything. Uh, uh, where did you get that? What did you do? I'm always like that. And I ask God, why am I not like that? I don't understand. I'm a woman. And he said, remember, Latanya, you were brought up around all boys. You were the only one in your family that was your age and you were the only girl and I thought about it and I said oh my god I was around all boys so I kind of grew up a tomboy I was always around boys I played basketball football baseball you know touch football and you know I don't remember the boys ever fighting I don't remember the boys being catty and jealous and envious and I don't remember any of that. And it wasn't my choice to not, you know, hang around women and girls at the time. That's just how it was. I've always wanted friends, but for some reason I could not ever connect with the female because it was always like that and I just couldn't comprehend that. I would see a beautiful girl and be like, wow, she's beautiful. I hope I be beautiful like that when I grow up. I never looked at a woman and said, oh, she thinks she all that. Oh, my God. You know, uh. you know, I never looked at a woman like that. Ever. I've always admired it admired it and prayed that I be beautiful and I'm so humble 
that when I see a beautiful one, I'll be like, wow, she's beautiful. I don't compare. And let me tell you something like this. If she had beautiful hair, I'm going to get that hair. <laughs> I'm going to get that hair and I'm going to feel beautiful too. You know, the, I, I always thought there is no reason for a woman to be jealous of another woman. I, I just don't get it. You just find out what you love about yourself. If you have beautiful legs, show your legs. If you have beautiful eyes, accentuate your eyes. You know, there is always a way to feel beautiful as a woman. I didn't always know that I was beautiful. You know when I found out and realized I was beautiful? When I got in my 40s and I had people calling me gorgeous. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm in my 40s now. You know, when a woman get in her 40s, that's the last thing on her mind is being called beautiful. But I'm being called gorgeous. And I'm like, wow. So I finally looked in the mirror. Because mind you, I had low self-esteem. I did not know I was beautiful until I got in my 40s. And I finally looked in the mirror. And then I started looking at other women that I was finding out my age. And they were looking rough. And I went, oh my God. I am gorgeous. Wow. You think you will lose it in your 40s. You will lose your beauty and sooner or later. You know, the Bible talks about beauty fading away. You know, I'm thinking my beauty is fading away. But to be called gorgeous in your 40s, that's when I realized, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. And you'll be amazed at so many people and women that when I tell them my age it makes them upset it, 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 it just women just blows my mind because I don't understand why we're like that but anyway it's not wise to compare it makes you envious it makes you jealous it makes you competitive, retaliate, sabotage, plot, scheme, and plan, and it turns into murder. Some people have been murdered behind comparing. This is why God says it's not wise. So when you see someone in their season... Be happy for them. Seriously. Don't compare. Because you don't know where that person comes from. You don't know what that person went through. You may not see the scars visually. It could be under their clothes. It could be on their legs. It could be on their chest. You don't see what they went through. I learned a long time ago to be careful who I'm jealous of and comparing and who I want to be like. Because we don't know what people went through to become the person that they are today. Glory to your name, Father. Hit that like button if this is helping you. Because comparing is not wise be yourself find out what you were created to do and what you're supposed to be doing and stop watching other people i teach my son that at one point in time he was watching everybody else because he's young you know he's become an adult and he was watching how all everybody else was figuring out what they supposed to do. They figured out their gifts. You know, his sister found out that she's a beautician. Uh, she does hair, hairstylist, and she started doing that. And he's watching everybody else, and he's looking sad. And I said, "Son, what's wrong?" He's like, "Well, I, I'm I'm noticing everybody else doing what they supposed to do, and I don't know what to do." I said, "It's not wise to compare." 
get your eyes off of other people and figure out what you supposed to do figure out what you were created to do find out what you love and just do it because while you are comparing and watching others you are going to be stagnant and you're going to stop and guess what you're not going to do nothing you're going to become miserable you're going to become uh, depressed because you're constantly looking at somebody that that is not your business you're supposed to be finding out what you are created to do and I told him once you find out what you created to do you do it and you don't let nobody talk you out of it because you got people that find out what they supposed to do because they're still comparing and then they want to compare your life to theirs honey my life is not yours. Stop comparing. Every time I say I'm doing this, well, I wouldn't do that. I would do this. No. You do what you're supposed to do, and I do what I'm supposed to do. And that's what I told him. Even when people don't agree and don't want you to do it, you stand by what you're supposed to do. Because once you get out of your lane, and you're doing what they say you should do, you're going to ruin it. There are people that will tell you you don't supposed to be doing that because they're comparing you to their life and they're trying to mess you up. So if I say I like strawberries and you say I hate strawberries and then you're giving me the reasons why you don't like strawberries, that is not going to make me hate strawberries. I'm still going to love strawberries and that's how you have to be. Well, I don't see why you like strawberries. I love strawberries. And that's what I taught him. You stand on what you want. Because there is people that will talk you out of what you were supposed to do. Because they are comparing and want to get you off course. So you got to take a stand when you got those people in your life that is constantly comparing. Every time you tell them something, they want to compare and say this and that. You take a stand and say, yeah, I understand, but this is what I'm doing. Because guess what? You can't tell them what they were supposed to do. They're going to keep doing what they're supposed to do. It's not wise to compare. This is why God says, don't compare. So I pray that this helped and blessed somebody. I pray that this is the missing piece to your puzzle. I want you to like if this video has really blessed you. Share to someone who needs to hear what I'm saying. And go ahead and subscribe so you can listen to other videos and see what else is going on you guys be blessed and if you want me to talk about something that i haven't talked about or that you need revelation on please put it in the comments as well and i will work on that as well you guys be blessed bye